Hi, welcome to Duran's Designs. I'm Brian Durand. This is what I'm making in today's video. I'll show you where I downloaded the images and I'll show you how I set them up, carve them and finish it off. Okay, so we'll start out by getting the images we're going to use in this project. I went to freedxf.com. I typed in a search for New York and I found the one that I wanted. There it is. And then I just downloaded the SVG file so I could open it up in Aspire. Okay, so this is going to work in any uh, Vectric software. So we're going to set up a new project. And in my case, I'm going to set it 12.9 by 6. And the width of my board is 0.79. And we'll set off the material surface and at bottom left corner. Okay, so we're going to go up to import vectors. And we're going to find the file that I just downloaded. And in my case, it's in my downloads. And we just have to look for the one that we downloaded. And there it is. So now I'm going to resize the image to fit on the board. And I'll just zoom out a bit so I can see it. I'll hold shift down and move that down until I get it to the size I want and position I want. And that's about right. Then we'll just close out that. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And we'll go over to the 3D side. And we will go for a V-carve. We'll uncheck flat depth. And we'll select the tool. In my case, I'm using uh, V-bit, 60 degrees. And we'll go down and hit Calculate. Now there's a couple issues with the vector, so we'll just search that, fix any issues, close it out, recalculate, continue anyway, and ignore any open vectors. And then we will preview all tool paths. That ah, looks pretty good. You can see it's going to look nice and detailed. Now I'm just using MDF for this board as a test cut, which painted black, but uh, you could use a hardwood or a pine for this as well. So we'll close that out and uh, see how long it takes to cut that. It's not that long at all. And we will save it and just hit save toolpath and you just put it wherever you want to put it. Now in my case, I've already saved this file and you can place it wherever you choose. And after that's done, we're going to close this out and we're going to open up G Sender or whatever program you're using to carve. So we're just going to open up the file that we just saved. And we're ready to go. And you're going to set up your job on your CNC. You can do your X and Y and Z settings. Get your bit in there and you can start your job. Okay, so I'll just show you quickly some of the carve. I won't show the whole thing. It's sped up, obviously. Now, if you like the stuff that I'm making on my YouTube channel and you like this video, I ask you now to go down and hit like and subscribe because it helps me out to keep making these videos. So once that's finished carving, I can shut it off remotely using my Wi-Fi plug that I bought off Amazon. It works really well with my enclosure. And you can get that uh, link in the description underneath. And I also have links to every other product I use in this video, as well as my other CNC projects. So that's uh, finished off now, then we can go back and add the tiger on the right. So we're gonna go back to freedxf.com and we'll do a search for tiger. And I just picked one that I thought would look good. 
settled on that one. And again, I will download the SVG file, save it to your computer, and then we can open it up on the same project using the import vector. And find the file that we have, and we'll resize it to fit beside the New York image. So once we got it in place where we want it, make it a little smaller there. I'm going to line it up so we have some room that I can cut out the board later on and still have a good amount of space in between each product. And I'll line it up top and bottom using the align tool. And we're good to go. So we can go back over to the VCarve settings and tool pass. And in this case, I chose to do a flat depth of 0 0.04. And then preview the tool path. I didn't want that one going quite as deep as uh, the New York one because uh, it just, I thought it would look good like that. Okay, so we're going to close that out. I'll save it. Save your tool path, and you just find the folder where you want to save it. I already did save this one, so I'll just cancel that. And we'll open up GSender again, close out the old file, load the new one. Now you could do this all in one step, but uh, that's not how I did it. So I'll just show you how I did it. All right, so now in this case, uh, it leaves enough space to the side of the New York. And we'll start that up. And uh, this is sped up about 250%. Uh, and you can see it's carving out. It looks pretty good. So please remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feel I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling